Uh, hello. My name is Craig. I will be facilitating a Qigong practice. If you're tuning this live today, or at this moment is Tuesday, February 1st, just a minute before 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'll begin the practice in one minute. Thanks for being patient. And thanks for checking this practice out. A quick breakdown of what this practice will be. This will be practice based on Qigong, energy practice. Qi means energy, gong means to cultivate. We'll be working with our energy. Qigong is a practice of mindfulness, meditation, using gentle exercises to connect with ourselves, connecting with our healing ability. Some view it as a form of meditation. Some view it as a form of self-care, preventative medicine. But for this practice, again, it will just be gentle movements, exercises, stretches to help you take care of yourself, to elicit the healing response, to slow down, to flow, to move, to shift from doing, to shift out of the stress into being, into listening, into allowing. So that's what this practice is about. So I see it is 6 p.m. on my end. Make this practice happen. Thanks again for the people who are checking this out. You're welcome. So let me give a reintroduction for this practice. This is a Qigong practice, a practice of gentle exercise and movement to connect with ourselves, our healing ability, to take a break from doing, to just flow, to listen, to just allow ourselves to be and shift from the stress into rest, healing, connection. So here's a breakdown for today's practice. So this is a 60 minute class, but you don't have to do the entire 60 minutes. You take breaks, even though you see me standing right here, I'll be doing the practice standing. You can do it seated. You can even do it laying down. Most of the exercises can be adapted to being seated or laying down. There are, there are like two I'm thinking that are easier and are preferable standing up, but key is to take care of yourself, to listen to what you need. So here's what we have for the practice. First five to seven minutes, this is the grounding exercises. This is aligning three treasures where we check in with our body breath and our mind. This is so we get the most of our Qigong practice. Then after that, we have the five introductory movements. These are the standard movements that I've done for every class, whether it's Tuesday night class or the Saturday morning classes. I've been doing these movements for, I think, at least six plus years. This is just a way so we just have continuity in the classes. So that will take us up to the second half of class. And then for the rest of the class, for about 30 minutes, we're going to go through some stretches, some tapping, and then for the rest of the class, I would say about 20 minutes flowing exercises that will connect with the water elements, connect with nature, and connect with winter. So that's the class. Again, thanks for taking this opportunity to Check out this class, connect with yourself. The key thing is listen to yourself. Any movement you see me doing, you can adapt it to yourself. You can go at your own pace. This is your class, this is your time. All right, so we're gonna begin. For those who are standing, you can bring your feet together. Let me step back out. Bring your feet together. And let's just take this time to just check in with ourselves and check in with our environment. Do you have the space you need for yourself? 
Make sure you can just move around. Do you need any water around or a cushion to sit down? Again, what do you need in this moment to help that would serve you for this class? You can get that right now. And as you're doing that, for those who do have everything they need, just take the opportunity to just check out your environment. Checking with your senses. And when I say environment, I'm not just talking about external. If it's available to you, check in with your internal environment. How are you feeling at this moment? You notice any sensations, energy at this moment? And then we'll check back in at the end of the class, see how you're doing after. Hopefully, the class will be supportive and you'll be a lot less stressed and a more flow. But again, just checking in with right now. And let's transition to aligning the body. So those who are standing, we're going to shift our right into our right foot, step out with our left. So both feet are parallel, flat on the ground. And let's just notice how our feet are connected to the ground right now. Imagine there are roots coming down from the bottom of the feet connecting to the earth. And let's continue aligning the body. Let's check in with the knees. Knees are soft, so if you let you can lock, then gently unlock your knees. Let's check in with the pelvis. Tailbone is tucked underneath the spine, so the pubic bone is tilted up, as if you're sitting on a tall stool. Let's check in with the chest. Chest is open. Let's check in with the arms. Arms are just hanging loose by the sides. Slight bend the elbows. Palms can be facing towards the body. Fingers are soft, they can be spread apart, that feels good. Let's take an opportunity to check in with the neck and the shoulders. And you know what, I'll add in the wrists. These areas tend to carry a lot of tension. We'll do some exercises to release that tension. You're welcome to fall out or do whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna start off with the shoulders. I'm gonna do shoulder rolls, forward and backwards. So let's do three shoulder rolls forward. Let's reverse that movement. Three shoulder rolls back. Let's transition and check in with the neck. So at the moment, neck is going to head over the heart. Let's look over to the right side. And look over to the left. Bring your head over to center. Just gaze up and down. Gaze upwards, gaze downwards. Let's bring the head back to center. Let's do some neck rotations or circles with the nose. So you can allow chin drop to the chest and just make circles with the nose, neck rotations, being kind and gentle as you do those rotations. Let's do two in one direction. And two in the other direction. All right, let's bring the head back over the spine. And let's check in with the head. Let's imagine the inner string coming down from the sky. Connects to the top of your head, pulls you upright, so this lengthens the spine. Get you just loose hanging from this string. Let's check in with the brow and the jaw. Tend to carry a lot of tension in this area. See if you can just notice or even release that tension. You can unhinge the jaw. Let's check in with the eyes. Eyes can be in a soft gaze. Let's check in with the mouth. Mouth can be in a form of smile, but whatever allows you to just be soft and relaxed. We can check in with the tongue. The tongue can be connected to the roof of the mouth. And that will be it for aligning the body. Let's move into aligning the breath. For this class, we recommend doing Dantian breathing, but the key thing is to do the type of breathing that feels good for you. So I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of Dantian breathing. 
also known as belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing. So I'm gonna bring the left hand to the lower abdomen, the Dantian area. So I'm gonna take a deep inhale. As the lungs fill with air, the abdomen expands. And on the exhale, as the lungs empty, the abdomen softens, the navel moves towards the spine. So inhale, deep breath. Lungs fill. Exhale. Abdomen softens, lungs empty, navel moves close to the spine. So Dantian breathing, also known as belly breathing, can help elicit the parasympathetic response, which leads to healing and rest. But as always, you can just engage in natural breathing. Breathing allows us to have life and energy. Lastly, let's move into aligning the mind. So let's set an intention for this class to be here, to be present, to honor the time we're taking to engage in this practice. The mind is powerful, so whatever we set our attention to, we give energy to it. As the saying goes, where the mind goes, the chi flows. So if you'd like, you can bring your hands in the form of prayer hands, have knuckles connect to the heart, and just set an intention for your practice today. It could be anything that you would like to get out of this class. You can just set that right now. And let's just set an intention to just be here, be present, to come back to the present moment, to come back to the flow, to what's happening in the now. All right. Let's begin the class, let's begin the flows. So allow the hands to flow down. We're gonna start off with full body breathing. So we're gonna inhale the hands up toward the sky and from the body. And exhale the hands out and down by the side. We're gonna restart that movement. Inhale hands up towards the sky. Exhale the hands down by the sides. Going at your own pace. Even on the facilitator, you don't have to follow me exactly. Go at the rhythm that feels good for you. Let's do three more repetitions in this direction. Inhaling the hands up. Exhaling, allowing the hands to flow down. Do one more repetition in this direction on my end. Now I'm going to reverse the movement. So the hands will be coming up by the sides. So inhale the hands up, out by the side. And exhale the hands down in front of the body. Noticing how that feels. Modifying the movement so it fits you, allows you to flow. And noticing where your awareness is, what are you paying attention to right now?
Let's do two more repetitions of this movement. This will be my last repetition. Let's allow the hands to just flow down. And just briefly hang by the sides before I transition to the next movement. And let's make let's make that happen. Let's go to the next gesture. We're gonna bring our hands in front of the lower abdomen, the dantian. Palms are going to be facing up towards the sky. Fingers are going to be pointing towards each other with a little space in between. Let's make this movement happen. We're going to inhale, draw hands up to heart height. Then the hands make it to the heart. Put the hands over, palms face down. Exhale, allow the hands to float down. We start in the movement. Inhale, draw the hands up. Exhale, flip the hands over. Allow the hands to flow down. Noticing what you feel. Modifying the movement so it serves you. Let's do three more repetitions. And I have one more repetition on my end. I'm gonna draw the hands back up to transition to the next movement. So draw the hands back up to the heart. But this time, I have the fingers pointing up. Palms still facing each other. Imagining that you're holding a ball between the two hands. And whatever comes to your mind, whatever you experience, whatever you feel, and you hear that concept holding a ball, and no worries, you don't feel anything. It's just allowing ourselves to just be here, connecting with the now. Now let's transition. Let's extend the hands out in front of the body. Slight bend in the elbows. Let's begin the heart opening movement. We're going to inhale the hands out by the sides, opening the chest and gazing up towards the sky. Exhale, look forward, allow the hands to soften and move back towards the center. Hands do not touch. Inhale, open up, feel the stretch in the chest. Exhale, release. Bring the hands close together but not touching. And as you are doing this movement, you can allow the hands to just trail the arms. As always, make any modifications for the movement to serve you. Qigong is not about strain or pain. Let's do two rep more repetitions. on my end. And as you bring your hands back close together, just take a moment connecting with that ball, holding the ball. And for a moment, we're just going to play with the ball. Let's say we'll just play with the ball for 30 seconds. So 
However you'd like to move this ball, imaginary, energy, whatever you're sensing and connecting to in this moment. Just engaging in just uh, some Qigong intuition and play. How would you like to move in this moment? Bring the hands back to that starting position. Arms extended, slight bend the elbows, palms facing each other. We're going to transition to the next exercise, flowing motion. To do so, we're going to turn the hands to the palms facing towards the body. We're going to inhale the hands in. And you can exhale, let the hands trace down the torso. As the hands drop, we're going to swivel the palms around. We're going to inhale the arms up to shoulder height. Then flip the palms over and exhale. Allow the hands to flow down. Arms can flow past the body to extend the exhale. So inhale, draw hands up. And exhale, allow the hands to flow down. This particular gesture has many variations. I'll go through a few of them. As always, this is your practice. You're welcome to try out the variations or just stick with whatever flow feels good for you. And let's start with the first variation. Shifting the weight forward and backwards. So as you inhale the hands up, allowing the weight to be in the front of the feet. On the exhale, allowing the weight to be in the back of the feet. So inhale, drawing the weight into the ball and the toes of each foot. Exhale, shifting the weight to be in the heel. Both feet stay planted on the ground, just shifting forward and backwards. There's a slight shift, you're remaining upright. If you want to make this a balance practice, as you inhale the hands up, you can rise up, lifting the heels, weight is in the ball of the feet. On the exhale, weight transfers into the heels and lifting up the toes. Inhale. And exhale. Again, that's optional. That's the balance practice, and it's okay if you stumble. It is a practice being present, connecting with ourselves, and flowing. So I'll do one more repetition before I transition to the next variation. And let's transition to bring the feet together and then stepping them apart. So as we inhale the hands, let's bring the left foot to the right foot. Have that in reverse. So inhale, left foot to right foot. Exhale, right foot to the right foot. You can incorporate. 
incorporate variations of different movements for this particular movement. So let's say you can inhale, draw the hands up. Exhale, you can sink if you like. Maybe want to do some balance practice. So you bring the feet together, most of the weight can be in one foot. Then you can have an empty foot. If you'd like, you can even lift up a leg. Whatever you'd like to practice. How you like to flow? I'll do a couple more repetitions of this balancing flow. And this will be my last repetition. If you'd like, we can just transition to that starting flow. Both feet flat on the ground, inhale the hands up to shoulder height. Exhale, on hands just flow down. Let's do three more repetitions. Position on my end. All right, then we'll just take a brief pause. Just allow the arms just hang. Just check in with yourself. We're going to transition to shaking, also known as cooking chi or shake the tree. So where we just shake, vibrate the body, or dance, whatever feels good. I'm going to let this shaking start off in my hands and I'll let that travel through the rest of my body. We'll just do the shaking practice for a few minutes. Shaking is a great way to relieve stress. And you can shake and whatever way feels good it can be really white, can be really Tense. Maybe you want to pump the heels and jump up and down. But that might not be available to you. And that's okay. Just doing what serves you to be able to connect with in this moment. And a practice that we like to do in conjunction with shaking is blithering breaths. Blithering breath is when we just let out a sound or a breath that feels good for yourself. Shaking and sound seem to go well together. And again, it doesn't have to be a sound, it could just be a breath, it could be a sigh, it could be a yawn, whatever you feel comfortable with. So we'll do three blithering breaths. And when I say inhale, you're taking a deep breath. And on the exhale, just let out. That feels good. So let's go. Inhale. <sighs> this can be a way to just let out stress audibly. Let's do two more. Inhale. <sighs> One, inhale. All right, let's finish off this shaking practice. Let's go into that shaking sequence. Let's bring the hands out to the side. Let's bring the hands overhead. Let's bring the hands out from the body. 
and spin the hands behind the body. Spin the hands out to the sides, fingers pointing down, connecting to the ground and earth. And if it's available to you, you can bend the hips and knees, get close to the earth. And just returning upright. And however you want to shake, maybe you want to try that. Engage that high vibration shake. Or you just begin to slow down because we're pretty much at the end of our shaking practice. So you guys just begin to slow and close the shaking. And if it's available to you, you can come to a complete stop. And if it's available to you, you can turn it inwards. Or if you prefer, that's not turning over, is not available to you. You can shift into rocking, rocking forward and backwards, or swaying from side to side. Just taking this time to pause. For those who are able to turn inwards, what do you notice? What do you feel? Checking in with your senses, checking in with your sensations. Do you notice energy? Do you notice tension? Just bring awareness to yourself and listen. We'll do that for another minute. Just taking this time to pause to just be. Just to notice and allow. Noticing where your attention is, where your awareness is right now. All right. So let's transition to the second half class. The breakdown of the second half class. We'll do some stretches, some warming up to the spine, and I'll get to that uh, wrist stretching exercise I didn't get to earlier. We'll move into just some light tapping or a short tapping practice. And then the rest of the class, let's just say about like 23, 24 minutes will be flows. Flows that connect with water, connect with winter, with clouds. And that will be our practice. So let's transition to some stretches, some spine warm-ups. I like going into knocking on a temple door or uh, also known as in yoga empty coast leaves or knocking on the door of life so many names constant bear but also known as turning at the waist so we'll allow our hands to hang down and let's just turn at the waist allowing the hands arms to just flow before we we'll let them tap the body if they are feel ready and call for that you allow your hands to tap the body, front hand taps the lower abdomen, back hand taps the lower back and kidneys. So we raise through this exercise, you have the face facing forward and just turning at the waist. Maybe you want more athletic movement, looking over your shoulder or shifting from side to side. It's great movement to connect with the kidney energy to warm the spine. Do what feels good for you. Do a few more passes, and then we'll just allow our hands to flow down, flow off the body, and just slow down. And it's facing center. Let's move into spinal cord breathing. This way we open up the front and back of the spine. So we'll allow our hands, our arms to about, about shoulder height. Palms are open. Some could say there's cactus hands. So you'll draw down the elbows open, the chest. 
Arch the other back. You can even gaze upwards if that feels good. Then we'll bring the forearms elbows close together. Round the upper back. Chin tucks in. Tailbone tucks in. So inhale, open up. Arch the upper back. Draw the elbows down. Exhale. Draw our forearms elbows close together. Gaze down, chin tucks in, tailbone tucks in. So just opening and rounding the spine. Let's do one more repetition. Open up. Get an inhale on this. And you bring the forearms together and curl it. And exhale. This is open up. And allow the hands to flow down. Let's transition to just do some side bend stretches. I will just incorporate one of the eight brocades into the movement. So if you like, you can connect the fingers at the lower abdomen at the waist. So interlock the hands. Inhale, draw up the hands up. Exhale, press out and up. If you'd like, you can even rise up onto your toes, get that stretch in if that's available to you. What we'll do is we'll inhale. We'll exhale to the left side. Feel the stretch in the right side of the body. Inhale back to the center. We'll exhale over to the right side. Feel the stretch in the left side of the body. We'll inhale back to center. Allow the hands to separate and flow down. And we'll do this set of stretches one more time. Interlock the fingers, connect the hands, draw the hands up, press the palms up, stretch out if it's available to you, stretch up onto your toes. Allow the heels to sink. Draw the hands down. Now inhale and exhale out to the right. Left side. Feel the stretch in the left side. The right side of the body. And inhale back to center. Exhale. Out to the right side. Feel the stretch in the left side. Return to center. Release the hands. Let them flow down to their respective sides. Notice how that feels. And let's take an opportunity to do some hip rotations, then some wrist rotations. So if you'd like, Bring your hands to the waist. Thumbs can go to the lower back. Really, whatever feels good to you. I'm just going to do some hip rotations. Do three hip rotations in one direction, and then we'll reverse that. So, just doing some hip rotations. Three in one direction, then reverse that. set. Just returning to the center. Weight is equally distributed in both feet. And you can do some wrist rotations. There's a couple ways to do it. Two ways I like doing it. It's just circling the wrist one direction. Then reversing that movement. Another option is just to Circle the wrist, and if you'd like, if it's available to you, you can circle the ankle. If that is available to you, you can also do the circling of the ankle on the on the ground. Then you can do the opposite. Again, if you have the ability to balance, you can make that happen. Then go the other way, or you can just do it on the ground. All right. So those are spine and 
so stretches to warm up the body. Let's do a short tapping practice and then we'll get into those flips. As always, listen to yourself, take care of yourself, but go at your own pace. So let's transition to some tapping. Tapping I'll do today, tap the chest, tap down the arms, tap up and down the legs, and tap the head. This covers a lot of meridians. And if you're looking for an alternative to tapping, you can just trace over the body or do some massages, just massage instead. So I'm gonna start off with just tapping the chest. If you'd like, if you're tapping, you can say affirmations to yourself, whatever allows you to support yourself. So just tapping the chest. Then we'll begin tapping down the arms. So I'm gonna extend the right arm out. Start beginning, tapping down the neck, down the inner arm of the right arm. Flipping the palm over the right arm, tapping up. We'll do this two more times with a total of three times. All right, let's transition and go to the left side. We'll start bringing our right hand, tapping the neck. And we'll just tap down the inner arm of the left arm. Tap up the outer arm of the left arm. Let's do this two more times for a total of three times. All right. So we're gonna transition to tapping the lower back and kidneys and tap down the lower back, tap up the inner legs. So let's, before I jump into that, I'm just gonna make soft fists and I'm just gonna gently tap lower back, kidney areas. Again, whatever's available to you, whatever you connect with. And then, it's available to you, start tapping down the back into the legs, tapping down the back legs, bend in the hips and the knees if you need to, tapping up the front of the feet, and tap up the inner legs, the waist, and we'll do this two more times, back of the legs, up the inner legs, this tapping practice, we'll tap top of the head. You can imagine that your fingers are raindrops, or you can even just massage down and up the front of the head, but it feels good. Just gently tapping. All right, that is it for the tapping practice. Let's transition to the flowing practice. I've got a few flows for you. Let us start off with an earth flow that will allow us to transition to some other related flows. So let's start off with Buddha holds up the earth. It's kind of similar to an exercise we already did to run. So the hands are gonna be in front of the lower abdomen Palms are facing up towards the sky. And we're gonna inhale, draw the hands up. And when the hands make it to about the chest, we're gonna flip the hands over, press up, exhale, circle around. Let's do that again, inhale. Press up. Exhale, circle around. Let's do this a few more times. So 
Inhale, draw the hands up. Press the palms towards the sky. Exhale, release. Draw the hands to go down. Gonna do one more repetition of this movement. transition to a movement called palm trees. I guess it's inspired by the winds of the storm that happened recently in my area. So what we'll do is we'll practice and we'll shift weight from side to side if that's available to you. Shifting weight into the left foot, shifting weight into the right foot. Just flowing from side to side, noticing how that feels, noticing where your awareness is right now. We'll start the movement where you come back to the right side. Now bring the hands up. Imagine your arms are trees. And it's going to allow them to flow from side to side. If you're looking for a breathing pattern, you can inhale the hands from one side, exhale to another. You can just imagine that you're a tree blowing through the wind. Maybe you're a palm tree. Maybe you're a willow. The key thing is that you're flexible and flowing. The trees that don't break in the wind have that flexibility. To go with the flow. So just that allowing yourself to have that opportunity to just go with the flow. for a couple more passes. So when you find yourself flowing back to the right side with the arms, you can allow your hands to just drop, flow down to their respective sides, noticing how you feel. We're going to transition to another flow called the water element flow. It has a couple parts to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow our hands to just flow up to about shoulder heart height. Turn our fingers so they face towards each other. Palms are facing towards each other. So arms are round. For those who have seen my classes, it's almost like embracing tree. Just holding this position. And what we're going to do, this movement does involve bending at the knees and waist. But do what's available for you. So this movement can always be modified. It's going to allow the hands to drop. And you're going to connect with the earth. Palms face up. You're going to inhale, draw the hands up. And almost like Buddha holds up the earth, you're going to draw the hands up and from the body. Press up. Exhale, draw the hands up. So the first part of the movement, draw your hands up and from the body. Making that hug, embracing the tree. Exhale, drawing the hands down, gathering, connecting to the earth, drawing the hands up, pressing the hands up. Exhale, allowing the hands to flow down. Again, going at your own pace and speed.
get a modified movement so it doesn't cause strain or pain. Maybe you want to go a shorter distance, gather from the earth. Or maybe as you're doing the embrace part, you just lower the shoulders down so it puts less stress on your shoulder. Again, making the, the movement work for yourself. So start back again. Let's do this. two more repetitions at your own pace and speed. This will be the last repetition on my end. Let's transition to the next flow. I'll stick with the water element flow. I like the fountain. I know I did that last class, but I'll just do a simple version of it and then we'll go through a couple other water flows. So let's bring our hands as if we're holding a ball. And what we'll do is we'll swing our palms out, then draw the back of our hands together up the midline and exhale, hands out, palms face out. Then back of the hands, draw out the midline, exhale, hands out. So inhale, palms face away, exhale. Low and lower down. Imagining that you have a fountain, the water is coming out and circling around. And if you'd like, you can do a variation or you can continue this flow. Variation is just doing one hand at a time. Transition to that and one more pass. So let's start off with the left hand. So the right hand stays still. Left hand inhales up. Exhale out. Transition to the right hand. And you continue to alternate. And this is like a figure eight. And let's do two more passes for each hand. Or two more repetitions, really. And one more repetition for the right hand. One more repetition for the left hand. Noticing how that feels. Let's do a couple more water element flows. One I haven't done in a while is waterfall. And you can, as you see me doing the exercise, you can modify it. What we're going to be doing is back of the hands facing away. So we're going to inhale them up. Let's say about head height. Turn the palms away. Exhale, all the hands to flow down. So if you could create a waterfall with your hands, or maybe you just 
tracing it. And you can incorporate a rising and a sinking if that feels good. Or just moving your arms and hands. So inhale the hands up. Exhale and draw the hands down. Let's do two more passes. One more pass. Allowing the hands to slow down. Transition to cloud hands. I know I've been doing cloud hands a lot. I just want to incorporate a few passes of cloud hands. Keep that continuity with the flowing movements, the water element movements. So what we're going to do, just shift weight from side to side as if we were doing palm trees. And then we come over to the right side. Left hand is or right hand, palm facing up. It's about waist or dantian height. Left hand a little bit higher. And what we're going to do is we're imagining that we have cloud matter in between our hands. So this is a variation of cloud hands. So we're going to exhale. Turn at the waist over to the left side. Switch in the position of the hands. Other right hand is on top, left hand is on the bottom. Imagine you have cloud matter, shifting it from side to side. Noticing what you are focusing on, noticing where your awareness is. Seeing if you can just soften and flow. Do a couple more passes of this movement. Let's do one more pass for each side. So right traveling to the left side and left traveling to the right side. Make it over to the right side. You're gonna slide your hands and just flow down. And we're almost at the end of the practice. Just got a couple more movements for you. We'll just do tidal wave and centering. We'll go into those closing exercises. So for a tidal wave, we're gonna bring our hands to down to end, abdomen height, and we're just connecting with the waves, with the tide. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale, draw the hands up. But as we're doing that, we're going to sink. And we're going to flip the palms over and we're going to exhale. As you press down, rise back up. So let's do that again. Inhale. Hands flow up. Sink. Exhale. Rise up as the hands flow down. So when the tie comes in, it's going to be sink. When the tie goes out, we rise up and the hands go down. We're going to add another dimension to this. So we're going to inhale, sink, exhale, let the hands go down. The next time we do this, we're going to inhale, the hands up, and then press out. Inhale, sink. 
Exhale, rise up. Press the hands out. Inhale, sink. Draw the hands back in. Exhale, press the hands down. Rise up. Let's do it one more time. So we're going to inhale. Then press the hands down and rise back up. And now this time as we inhale the hands up and sink, we're going to press the hands out, rise up. Inhale, draw the hands in, sink. Exhale, press the hands down, rise back up. Let's do a couple of centering, or let's do centering, centering integration flow as we're closing this practice. So let's bring the right hand to the lower abdomen, the Dantian, palms facing up. And with the left hand, it's going to inhale. Palm traveling in the direction up toward the sky. Exhale, the hand down the center line. And it's going to take the place of the right hand. Now the right hand is going to circle up and over. Exhale, fingers pointing up. Hand flowing down. We're going to do one more pass for each hand. So, left hand, palm facing the direction of travel. Exhale. Left hand flowing down. One last time with the right hand. Inhale, the upper head. Exhale, the hand down. For a moment, we'll bring one hand over the other at the Dantian, noticing what you sense, noticing what you feel. And let's move to closing movements. Just going to allow both hands to just flow up the body. We inhale, both hands circle up towards the sky. Let's bring left foot to right foot. And with the palms facing towards yourself. Exhale, allow the hands to shower down whatever you need from this class. Taking in that support, that goodness, that energy. And let's do that two more times without moving the legs. Inhale, draw the hands up overhead. Palms facing towards the sky. Exhale, and the palms face towards yourself, showering. Drawing down that goodness for yourself. Do this one more time at your own pace, gathering up, drawing down. And to completely close this practice, this moment I will not be marrying you. I'm going to bring my right hand in the form of a soft fist. This is going to represent your energy, the energy of the day, energy of the sun. I'll bring up the left hand. Palm is open. This is going to represent the energy of the yin, yin energy, energy of the night, energy of the earth and moon. And let's bring the left over the right as we bring both hands to the center. Let's take an opportunity to bow to ourselves. We're engaging in this self-care practice, engaging in Qigong, which has been practiced for hundreds and thousands of years. Let's bow to each other for sharing this energy, this time. And want to take time to just bow to the teachers and the people who have allowed this tradition, these practices to continue. So thank you for checking out this practice. Hope it has served you. Leave any comments, feedback, much appreciated. Thank you for your time. Thank you for doing what you do. Until next time, be well. I also want to thank Toivo, Darren Joe, all the good teachers. Thanks again.